Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As promised, I'm here to go through all of my Dimension stash and show you the kits that I have, the works in progress that I have, and also the um, finishes that I have. So I don't know if I'm going to do this all in one part or two parts, but um, I thought, you know what? Today's the day I'm going to do this. We are, it is currently the first day of spring of 2020, and we are um, social distancing. And to top things off, we had a power outage today for about four hours. So I thought, you know what? I'm this. It's time to record this video. So just to give you guys something to look at, I love when people show their Dimensions kits and their haul, their stash. So I thought that I would just show you what I have. So we'll start with this one right here. Uh, this is a no count cross stitch. I feel like this was given to me from somebody. Um, I'm sorry. I, I if I don't if I can't remember who gave me this, but it's a no count cross stitch, which I have never done one of those before, and it's already been open. So let's just uh, look and see what that looks like. Actually, oh okay. So okay. So I guess you just add the cross stitches in with um, uh, background already colored. So. Boy, it doesn't look like that would take too long to do. I might try that someday, because I've never done one of those, and it looks pretty cute. So, okay, I'm not going to probably talk in depth about every single one of these, or we'll be here all day, because I have quite the collection. I don't have a collection as big as some, but it's bigger than others, so yeah. Anyway, so there's one, Cardinal's Home, it's called, and No Count Cross Stitch. Okay, so next up I've got these three... Dimension, small Dimensions kits uh, with the Debbie Mum design. I have four of them, but I've already stitched one. So we've got the Winter, Spring, and Summer designs. And I've got these little uh, trinkets over on the side here to kind of keep me in frame to make sure I don't go out of frame because I can't see what I'm showing you. So these are the three. And those are cute. And I'm when I do my finishes, I'll show you the the fall one that I finished. I might have to dig it out of the shed. So, but anyway, these are cute, and they actually take quite a bit. There, I, I remember them being a bit tedious actually when I did the fall one. So those are cute. All right. This is one I actually found at the craft box. So this one was actually one that I was uh, I bought. Well, with the thoughts that maybe I would give it away on my channel at some point. So, and um, I'll try to mention if I think, if I know for sure if any of these are out of print or hard to get, but as far as I know, I don't, I don't know about this. I think it's pretty readily available still. So music in harmony. And those are what the colors look like. I don't know what kind of uh, coloring we're going to get on this video because it is snowing for the first day of spring here in Colorado. So my light is sort of bluish coming in on the window on the side there. I was hoping for a sunnier day to do this. This one right here is, uh, you know what, let's finish the one that's not a gold petite yet. This is the last one I have that's, that's small, that's not a gold petite. And this one is called Butterfly Dream. This is one of those where sometimes I look at it and I think I want to stitch it, and other times I don't know if I'll stitch it. So thought it was cute and it's kind of small and um yeah a bit of back stitching so that's that's a cute one though nice one for spring seven by five inches okay so now we'll get into the dimensions gold petites I've got this one right here which is one of many I'm not sure how many but they they have these ornaments and I have stitched one and this one I haven't stitched yet, and this is called Joy. And you'll see when I do my finishes which one I did finish on these. So, and that's what it looks like there. Some pretty colors. Now, these are full coverage, and I remember the one that I did. Well, you know, maybe it's not full coverage. I can see it's not quite stitched in the, some of those areas there. But I do remember this one being a bit tedious, too. These, And that's probably why this one hasn't been started yet. And... But cute though, and yes, there, like I said, there's a whole, a whole set of those. All right, uh, some more small gold petites. 
actually don't have as many of these as I thought I did. So, okay, this is Cliffside Beacon, and it is one I bought not too long ago, and it is the only one of the lighthouses that I really love and think I would actually stitch. I know there's a lot of people that like to stitch the whole series of these, and this is the only one I'm... I'm not much of an ocean person, and, um, gosh, have I even ever seen a lighthouse? I don't think I've even seen a lighthouse, actually, in person. But I don't know why this one calls to me. I think it reminds me of the movie Jaws, that fence. Those of you that know the movie Jaws, you'll remember the fence, the scene at the beginning. So I don't know. <laughs> I think I kind of like this because of that. Maybe I'll put a little shark fin out there in the distance. Uh, anyway. No, it's very pretty though. I do like this one, but like I said, it's the only lighthouse one that I think I'll stitch. All right. This is one that I finally bought. Um, I love horses, but I don't have a lot of experience with horses. I've only probably been horseback riding a couple times in my life, but I think horses are so cute, and I just thought this one was really precious because I saw it stitched, and it's really cute. I actually would love to get some of the bigger horse pieces, um, but this is the only one I have in my stash right now, and I do love it, and it's called Good Morning. And those are what the colors look like there. I don't have a real lot of information to give you about these other than the fact that um, it's just one of those that I saw it many times and then I finally just bought it and I really think it's pretty. Anyway, very cute. Can't wait to stitch that one of these days. And this one here, which I absolutely love. I don't know why I haven't started it yet. It almost looks like I opened it to probably the, maybe I was going to start it at one point. So those are the colors there. And this one, what drew me to it, were those eyes. I just love, love, love the eyes. I think wolves are beautiful. So this one's just simply called Wolf, 18 count. And, yeah, I really, really love that one. Yep, I'll do that one of these days. My husband likes that one. And this one I was really excited to get because um, I hadn't actually ever really noticed this one before. And then, just like a lot of us that watch Luda, she stitched this, and I then was on a mission to go out and find it. And I did find it, and I love it. I think it's really pretty. I don't remember what she said about it, if it was hard or easy to stitch, but I love hummingbirds. I don't know why I didn't ever notice this one before, but... It's, I think it's one of those that just looks really much better stitched than it looks in this picture. So I just recently got this one. Look at those colors. I almost started that the day it came in, but I had so many other things I was working on, so I decided to not start it. It actually looks like it's kind of old, or it's got a little, little sun discoloration right here in the... Hmm, hope it didn't get any on the fabric. I don't think so. It looks like just the plastic is discolored a little bit here. Um, but yes, excited to stitch that. Okay, so we're moving on to the bigger kits now. Let me go grab those. Okay, uh, let's start with some of these pamphlets that I have that are dimensions. This is dimensions number 337. It's called Nature's Vision. And it's absolutely beautiful. I love this. I love eagles. So this whole scenery and the eagle, I just love this. Definitely want to stitch it one of these days. Uh, I don't think I can open this up because it's the chart inside. But it's not a kit. Just a pamphlet. So but really, really pretty. Very excited to stitch that someday. Anything with eagles. And this is just another pamphlet that I got. And I'm not a fan of stitching words like that. I just love the rest of this, though. So, um, in case you can't read it, it says, Having some place to go is home. Having someone to love is family. Having both is a blessing. So, it's pretty. It's a pretty sentiment, but I don't know. It looks tedious, stitching that. So... 
and I love, I love all of this around here too. It's one of those that probably looks very much prettier even than it does in the picture. So, and what is that called? That's called, uh, I mean, that, that's just number 308, Dimensions 308. Have no idea if these are still available or not, but very pretty. Okay, so we're going to go back to some real old ones here. Let me grab. So, this one here, it's called Special Delivery. So, it's one of the companies, I guess, that Dimensions used to be called. I, I don't know. I'm not real familiar. But I feel like this Monarch Horizons is basically used to be, is what, what earlier Dimensions were called. So, cover that chart, and um, yes, you can see that it doesn't have a thread sorter. This is this is very old. This was given to me as a gift, and I can't believe I haven't stitched it yet. It doesn't even look that hard. So, in case you're new to my channel, you'll realize there's a theme here. I love birds, so you're going to see a lot of birds dimensions kits and I don't even have them all actually I'm still in the process of collecting all the birds ones but um, yes this was really pretty and I'm glad to have it in my collection and you can see dimensions have come a long way with their designs because this is very um, I don't know what you would call it kind of pixelated you know the detail has gotten much better but still so cute I love each one of those little birds okay that one. Uh, I have another Monarch Horizon. This one I was lucky enough to snag not too long ago off of a selling site called Mercari. Um, it's kind of like a cross between, I don't know, it's like eBay, but you don't do auctions. So if you're ever looking for, sometimes they have some rare ones on there, and I snagged this for like nothing. And oh, as a matter of fact, I think it came with that no count cross stitch that I showed you at the beginning. I have a feeling it was a bundle. And so I think that's why I ended up with that. But oh my gosh, this. Make sure I'm not out of frame here. So once again, Monarch Horizons, it's called State Birds. And gosh, look at that. I can't believe I haven't done this yet. Each bird for each little state. And there is mine right there. Point with my scissors because my my fingers look horrible right now. My nail polish doesn't look all that great. I put pink on because, you know, spring. And I love pink. But anyway, <laughs> Colorado. We have a lark bunting as our state bird. And I challenge you to ask anybody in Colorado what our state bird is. And I bet you most people wouldn't be able to tell you. Okay, let's see what the colors look like there. Hmm, pretty. I like to actually sort threads. I think it's very relaxing. So I don't... Some people might look at that and cringe, but I don't. I look at that and say, it looks fun. Alrighty, moving on. So now we're getting into um, Sunset, which are also, I guess, Dimensions. I think they used to be called Sunset before they were called Dimensions. I don't really know. But this one, can't believe I haven't stitched this yet. This was also a gift. And, gosh, I wonder if this one's even hard to find anymore but oh I love this I love 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 eagles and yes this looks a little tedious because there's not very many different colors and you're stitching on black but very doable though you can tell I think I oh yeah I already sorted the threads I think I was did I start this let me check because I'm surprised that I oh yeah I even taped together pattern. It looks like I certainly was getting ready to start this. I did my little sorting of the threads and looks like I was all ready to do this and I haven't. So yeah, yeah, I need to do that. Can't remember, I can't remember why I didn't end up starting it, but half the work's already done. Okay, oh, there's that. This one was also a gift. It's been opened, but it hasn't been started. Oh, it has been started. That's right. That's about this one. So 
This is a beautiful one that's been around for a long time. I'm sure everybody has seen this one before. Rose cuttings. It may still be available. I'm not 100% sure. Need to make sure I'm still recording. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Let's open it up and see what was already stitched on this. So, threads are already sorted. It's pretty colors. Alright, and it looks like... Oh, and the edges are nice and surged already. So, yes, that one has a start on it already and it's not really that big so gosh I should stitch this one so pretty and I love so next to birds I love anything with flowers on it too so let me put it like this so that I remember that one's already started so technically that can kind of be classified under the whips even though it's not my work in progress it is a work in progress okay very nice all right, what do we got next up here? All right, I'm going to go to um, some more older Dimensions kits. But they are now called Dimensions, so we are into the brand Dimensions right now. But you can tell these are still old. Joy of Gardening. I just recently purchased this one. And I don't know. I loved it at the time when I saw it. Because I think I liked these little motifs around the outside. But the whole picture itself isn't really calling to me anymore. So I'm not sure that I'll actually stitch this one. So this might be in a future giveaway. But pretty cute though. I love the little gardening. I think I had thought maybe I would take out some of the different motifs to stitch but yep that this one this one I had never seen this one before until I was watching Pam and Steph they did their under the bed unboxing and Pam had stitched this one in the past and when I saw it I thought oh Yep, definitely need to add that to my collection. It's called Waterbirds, and it's dimensions 3732. And I think I found this on Mercari. Also, as a matter of fact, this might have been also in that bundle with the state birds and that other one. So yeah, it just um, that was a really good find because I, I literally didn't pay hardly anything for this. So that's an interesting color of Ada there that you don't see too often. Yeah, so definitely want to stitch that. And you can see it shouldn't be too long because none of the background is stitched. So it's actually just these little motifs are stitched. So very cute. Love that one. And then there's this one that my husband actually bought for me on an eBay auction. I had seen somebody had stitched this and I looked and looked and looked and looked and couldn't find it anywhere. And then I finally found it. And I was kind of torn as to whether I wanted to buy it. But anyway, my husband actually got this for me and surprised me with it. And it's called Winter Bird Houses. Love this. I don't know why I have I'm, You're going to hear me say that a lot. I don't know why I haven't stitched it. These are what the colors look like. Oh. Okay, I left a note for myself here. Swapped fabric. Make sure it will work. Okay. Yes. I needed this fabric for winter geese so this is actually fabric I stuck in there um, the the gal that had gifted me winter geese she had started stitching that on this it looks like she had put a hand dated I have it taped so I can't take it out but she had taken um, the fabric out of winter birds which you will see that when I show my finishes and swapped it with this uh, looks like a hand dyed Ada and then when I she gifted it to me because she didn't want to finish it or didn't finish it and um, and I had checked the measurements and I think I had decided it was going to be a little slightly too small for that so and I was desperate to start it so I went looking through my stash and found 
uh, piece of the blue Ada out of this and grabbed it. So yes, I need to make sure that this piece of fabric fits for this. If not, I'll just have to get some gray. Dove gray, I guess, was the color of it. So, ooh, glad I left a note for myself. Because, you know, ooh, what is this? A needle. Where'd this needle come from? Hmm, it's really... And that's a tiny little needle. All right. Well, for now, I'll stick it in there. You know I'll forget that it's in there. Actually... Let me take it out of there. If you're wondering about this box, I did a I have a tutorial video on how I made this box. I don't want to move it or I'm going to go out of frame, but um, if you haven't seen my tutorial, I did this last year, and this is a hands-on design, and um, I talk all about how to make this cute little box last year. So maybe I'll link that below. All right, let me put that back here so I can stay in frame. This here is a little, oh, I, when I was in my, making my Altoid tins, and uh, I love to make those too. I need to do a tutorial on those one of these days, but this little pin cushion I made, so actually I'll stick that in there. Oh, those are fun to make. Those little, you can do so much with those. They're so cute. Okay, this is about dimensions. I want to get back to where we were. Okay. This one here is a Dimensions chair with flowers. And I know, I've seen this stitched, and it looks much nicer than it looks in this picture. And I love the way it looked. So pretty. I mean, you stitch all of that, all that shading, which I love anything that has really interesting light, especially light coming in the side of a window like that. I just love. And so... Those are what the colors look like. And it doesn't even look like that much floss, so I just like that one would be pretty easy to stitch. Looks like it has a lot of half stitches. I'm I'm guessing all of these back here are half stitches. Okay. Now we're moving into a little bit more newer dimensions. Keeping with the chair theme. Roses on white chair. I love, love, love this one. I've seen people stitching. Oh, that's an interesting color, Ada. I don't think I've ever seen that in before. That doesn't look anything like the color. Is that right? Did I swap that out? No, this hasn't been opened, so that is the color of it. That's interesting. Would you agree that it doesn't look the same as this? Beige Cotton Ada. Okay, interesting. Have not ever seen that color of Ada in the kit before. Love this. I've seen um, quite a few people stitch this before, and I just still love it. Another birdhouse. Winter housing, it's called. Lots of beautiful, bright colors. Man, it's thick too. Hefty. Ooh, here. I love this and you have the choice to stitch it without this wording. I need to make sure I'm staying in frame. Yes, you have the choice to stitch it without the wording and, and it would look like this, which I love. I think I love it without the words. Love it. I don't know if I've ever seen anybody stitch and finish this. I'm going to have to look on Instagram and Look for winter housing and see if anybody's ever stitched this because it sure is pretty. Oh, next up, we've got this is an oldie but goodie Cardinals on a sled. I have seen many people stitch this also. And yeah, I think I went kind of. I don't know why some of these have green on the side. Um, you know what I'm talking about? Like some of them, this banner, see how these are green? And these aren't. I don't really know what the difference is. Maybe where they're manufactured. I don't know. It's just interesting that some of them have the green on it. Uh, anyway, Cardinal's pretty. Very pretty. Looks like a lot of half stitches in this one. 
so maybe it won't take long. This picture doesn't really show that the coverage is all that great, so I don't know. Sometimes I swap these, I swap at the 14 count out for 18 count just to get a little bit better coverage, but sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just stitch on what it what it calls for. Depends on my mood at the moment. Okay, we've got this one here. Home is where memories live forever. This is one of those that, uh, sometimes I look at it and I don't, and I think, oh, I'm probably going to give that away. And then other times I look at it and think, ooh, I want to stitch that. So it just sits in my stash until I decide what I want to do with it. And it's called Home Memories. And I'm not sure I've ever seen this one finished either. Make sure I'm still recording. Okay. Actually making pretty good time with this. Okay, this one. I love, love, love anything that has an American robin in it. I love, that's my favorite bird. It's called Garden Friends. And it's just got everything I love in it. Flowers, watering can, birds. No birdhouse, but that's okay. Very pretty. And the floss is sorted. Very colorful. Oh, I want to stitch them all. There's another one that has the green side on it. And this is called Garden Shed Snowman. Very cute. I think this was a Christmas gift from one of my boys, actually. And it has the sorted floss. And we've got this one, Afternoon in Providence, which is kind of funny. I had this in my, uh, I had this in my, our Insta, um, Amazon cart. And I, and so it wasn't in my wish list. It was actually in my cart, but I was, sometimes I put things in my cart while I'm thinking about them. And I think I was kind of waffling back and forth on whether or not I wanted this. And then my husband ordered something on Amazon and he said, oh, your kit's, your kit's on its way. And I said, well, what kit is that? So anyway, this kind of hitched a ride with his order. And I was like, well, okay, I guess that made the decision for me. So I like it. I love it, actually. It's very pretty, but it looks, it looks kind of tedious. I don't know. Oh, there's a lot of back stitching in there, especially that one. I think I like this one better. I might stitch that. I'm not sure about that one. Afternoon in Province, it's called, but... Very cute. Love the colors. I have a lot of similar colors in a lot of these kits. Um, I get a lot of kits on Amazon. Um, ones that are still, that you can still get, that are still available. I do, since we're always shopping on Amazon, I do get a lot of them on there. So if any of these are on Amazon, I'll link them below. And, um, oh, as a matter of fact, yes, I need to do a floss tube video, but I actually... In, have decided to get myself an Amazon affiliate page because people are always asking me where I get stuff and so I thought well I'm just going to make a page if you happen to go follow any of those links I do appreciate it and um, if not I do highly recommend 123 Stitch also um, I do get a lot of stuff from 123 Stitch too love that store and obviously Etsy, eBay and Mercari is where I shop a lot for these two okay back to these again this is called Morning Praise and I love this. For a while, I saw a lot of people stitching it, and I don't think I've seen anybody stitching it for a while. So, very pretty. Wouldn't you know it? It's kind of those same colors. Just love those bright colors. Okay. Hopefully, I'm staying in frame for you guys. And you can see, I hope the glare is not too bad with these being in packages. We're not done yet. Not done yet. Still have a few more. There's this one. I think everybody has seen this one. Mason Jar lineup. I have seen it stitched so many times and I love, love, love it. One of these days I'll start it, but it's, you know, it's kind of one of those that I've seen a lot of people stitch it. So I almost kind of feel like I stitched it just because I see the progress of it a lot, but I love it. This absolutely is going to be one that I want to stitch because every time I see somebody stitching it, currently Amy Loves Toads is stitching it and I drool over it every time she shows it. So love it colors are just so bright and cheery so love that one all right 
Then there's this one, Cafe by the Sea. Ooh, this is a big one. This is, I don't know why I feel like this is probably the biggest. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not the biggest one that I'm stitching because I actually I'm doing balloon glow right now. I would probably say that's the biggest. This one's big, though, too. But I've seen this one stitched, I believe, Amy from Amy DeVille. Didn't you stitch this one? That's where I fell in love with it. I know there's one that I get it confused because there's one that's very similar to this that I kind of get confused. Um, this one's called Cafe by the Sea, but I think it's like Lakeside Village or something like that. One of them looks very similar to this. So, yeah, love it though. It looks amazing all stitched up. Okay, and some of my more recent purchases is this one that was just reprinted, and I think I've shown it in my recent video, but uh, Michelle, Farm Girl Stitcher, she stitched this, and oh my god. So I had seen it in somebody else's channel first, uh, Reflections Framing and Needlework. Um, her husband, Dan, was stitching this. I think that's where I saw it first, and I'm like, oh my god, I need to get that. And then Michelle, Farm Girl, showed it all framed up, and oh, then I was like, man, I need that. And it was my unicorn chart for the longest time. And I finally found it. The, you know, the, the older, an older, like one of the original ones that's not sort of the ones before it was reprinted. I found it, and then I think I just told this story that I, I found it on Mercari, actually, and then um, bought it. And then right after I bought it, I realized that they had reprinted it, and I wanted to get a newer version of it just because I thought maybe the threads might be in a little bit just better than they... Than, than, I think it's a higher quality than it is in those older kits. And, you know, it came with the thread, thread sorter and everything. So I, I went ahead and sold that old copy again and then pre-ordered this and then ended up getting this. So I definitely, definitely want to stitch this. All right. And another one here. I know we're still going, guys. Still going. We're almost to the end. Peaceful Lake House. I fell in love with this when I saw it, and I almost stitched it the day. It's just, it is, it's so peaceful. I just want to live in that house. I want to sit out on that deck with a cup of coffee and just, with my camera, look for birds and watch the boats go by. Very pretty. I don't know, it is. It's just a peaceful scene, and those colors are very, very, very pretty. We're still with dimensions. I have more dimensions than I do dimensions gold. This one, oh my gosh. I fell in love with this when I saw it because I used to have two black labs. I don't have any dogs now. I used to have a black lab. Name, she was a lab chow mix, but she was mostly lab. And her name was Candy, and this looks exactly like her. And I also had a black lab shepherd mix named Kayla. This doesn't quite look like her because Candy looked more like your traditional black lab, whereas Kayla looked a little bit more like a black shepherd. But, oh, if I would have, if I, I just, I needed this to have this because it just reminds me so much. It's funny, when I had dogs, I wasn't really into bird watching or bird photography. So I'm not sure that I would have actually bought this kit when I had dogs, but I was, I used to, anything that had a black lab on it, I was obsessed with back in the day, but anyway, I just had to get this because now, I mean, my gosh, if I still had a black lab, I still had my black lab, and then all my birds, I just, yes, it's called Bird Dog, very cute, sure miss my dogs, and boy, not a lot of threads because if you look, none of the background stitched, it's just that, so I need to stitch this, it's very cute, all right, I'm about ready to have a avalanche of kits back there, so I better not add another one to it. All right, now we're getting on to... Hmm, I don't have very many Dimensions Gold kits. I found this one actually at a thrift shop, and it's called Flight of Freedom. And I absolutely love it, but I'm already stitching an eagle, and I've been stitching it for, like, since 2011, and I'm still not done with it, so I'm not 
too excited about actually digging into this one yet, but I love having it in my stash. And I have a feeling that this is probably out of print and rare. I haven't actually looked to see, but um, yeah, I don't have any plans of parting with it, but I don't have any plans of stitching it in the immediate future either. So that's one of the bigger gold collections I have. Um, so we're getting into just some kind of interesting odds and ends. This I found actually at the craft box, um, my local thrift store that has just the crafts. And I got this just because it looked rare <laughs> because I don't, I have not ever seen actually a dimensions kit come in one of these bags until I saw it on Luda's channel. But this is um, Valley of the River Beck. And this is something that I don't think I'll ever stitch. I'm not, um, I'm not a huge fan of these cottages. But then again, you never know. You know, wait a few years and then all of a sudden I'll be like, oh, I'm all about the cottages. So I don't know what to do with this one. I was thinking I may give it away on my channel. And I just haven't decided. So until I decide what to do with it, I'm going to just keep it in my stash because someday I may want to stitch a cottage. Okay, so there's that. And there's another kind of odds and ends. This one I bought, it's called Watering Cans, but it is a stamped cross stitch. And is it stamped or is it? Yes, it's stamped. And so I think what I wanted to do with it is see if I could just stitch it as a counted cross stitch because I have done that before with a stamped cross stitch a dimensions kit that was stamped. but the problem with it is that this has it comes with a painted if you look right here there's painting on the background that kind of adds to the look so I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do with this maybe find a really nice piece of hand dyed of linen or something that has you know a nice background in the back and then stitch on it but I just love the scene it's the I just love the picture it's very pretty so I'll keep it for now all right I think we're at the end guys this is the last one this one here was gifted to me it is not a kit full kit because she stitched it and then she gave it to me this was way back when I was on the cross stitch forum and with the, some of the leftover threads and the chart, and she stitched it, and it was beautiful. So, another eagle. I love it. This one is called The Promise, and I believe it's out of print. It's probably kind of rare, too. So, okay, I think that's it. Those are all of the kits in the kit parade. Now, I do have the Dimensions Whips, so I could just move right on in and do a whip parade and then a finish parade. I don't know. Let me see what time it... Let me pause and assess. And if I decide to do that in another video, you'll know. And if not, I'll be back in an um, in instant. Okay, welcome back. I don't know about you guys, but I needed to go get a cup of coffee and a snack. So I'm losing my light here, but I would like to plow through. I would like to plow through this and um, get through my works in progresses and maybe even my finishes before the light gets too bad. Um, when I turn on the overhead light, I get a lot of shadowing. So um, we'll see. We'll just go through this. Um, but yes, hopefully you're enjoying this and getting some stitching done as you shelter in place or whatever it is you're doing during this pandemic. Um, be Stay healthy out there, guys. I tell you, this is no joking matter. I think we have not uh, seen the worst of it yet, but I'm sure, like me, you all have a stash to last you five lifetimes, so if you have to shelter in place to do some stitching, um, there are worse things that can happen, so, okay, let's get started. Let me move my coffee out of the way so that I don't spill it on anything. Okay, so now we're going to get to our works in progress, my works in progress, I should say. 
Let me make sure I'm in frame. Okay, so this one, you have probably just seen me recently do this. I've been working on this now for the last couple of Christmases. I pull it out in December, and it is called Santa's Secret. And this is where I am at on it right now. Uh, is that light okay? Yeah, it looks pretty good. So this one is just amazing those eyes. So this really is just very cool. As a matter of fact, if I find a picture of my grandpa, my grandpa has blue, had blue eyes just like that. This just really reminds me. I mean, if you were just to look at that right there, that would be like my grandpa's face. <laughs> so I'll have to see if I could find a picture. He actually painted a self-portrait of himself and I'll have to see. I don't know which family member has that painting at the moment, but yes. Anyway, isn't that amazing? So he's going to have some glasses on that are done with this. Um, oh, I don't have. Yeah, the, the other kits, the rest of it's in a bag. But this, it's like um, some gold cording that he's going to have the glasses on. So I don't have much more to do on that. Just uh, the rest of the greenery over here. And yeah, just his hat and kind of this down here. So I should be able to finish that up uh, come December or maybe even Christmas in July. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to try to put these away somewhat as I'm showing them to you. And if you were following me for Stitch Mania 2019, last year, you will have just recognized all these because for Stitch Mania, what I did is I took every whip that I had and worked on it for a day during, a day or two during May. Um, so there, but there were more than just my dimensions. So, but you're just going to see just a recap of my, just my dimensions works in progress. This one here is called Sweetheart's Gate that I absolutely love. And I'll show you where I'm at on that. And I have a note to pass this on to the rocking stitcher. So Jemima, I got a note on it. I'm going to give it to you as soon as I'm done. Um, I'll try to uh, get that done in the next five years, but we'll, I, I can't promise anything. Okay. And I love doing this because it always kind of is inspiring even to myself to see, oh, where, where did I leave off on that? And I have not done much. Okay, so that's all I have done on that one so far. So let me make sure I'm staying in frame so you can see basically, yes. I've done across the top there and the birdhouse. And I have all that left to do. Oh, what a sweet, sweet picture, though. I love it. So sweet. Um, yeah. I never quite know how to put these things away in here. Roll them, but then they don't quite fit in the bag. So I have to just stuff them in there best I can. Next up, and these are in no order, they're just in the order that I happened to grab them. This one is called Sunflower Snowman, and I believe that this one is out of print and hard to find. And let's see where I'm at on that. You know it's old because I don't use masking tape anymore when I do my kits. So here we are with that. And, yeah, I got a lot, 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 lot more to do on that, as you can see. So, as a reminder of what it looks like. I'm trying to, I have limited frame space here, so, yes. I haven't even gotten into the good stuff yet. I've got one bird, and I have still all these I need to do, and that cute snowman. So, yep, I got to get back to that. And I am backstitching as I go along. And this is on 14 count Ada. And I, I, when I first started stitching it, I was kind of disappointed at how the coverage just isn't really that good. But you know what? It is what it is. And looks like I need to tack down some of these longer stitches I got going here. So I'll go back and like do a little couching stitch on those. To, cause they're looking a little fragile. Okay, very, very cute. I need to really cut that masking tape off of there because I know that it's really not good to have that on your projects, especially when they go on for years and years like mine tend to do. Right. I 
I try to have coordinating project bags, but sometimes they don't coordinate at all, and I just grab whichever one I can. So, all right. Um, okay. This is another one that every time people see it, they're like, oh, I really, really want that. And I believe that this is out of print and hard to find, too. And it wasn't when I got it, but, you know, I've been stitching it for a few years, so now it is. And it's called Orchids and Hummingbird. hope there's not too much of a glare on that. So pretty. Oh, look at these colors. Every time I see this, I just want to finish it. Let's see, how does it go? It goes like this. No? How does it go? It goes like that. There we go. Because I've done this edge. So, man, look at, can you see those colors, guys, on that butterfly? How beautiful that is? Oh, my gosh. So pretty. And I really try to backstitch these as I go along because it really saves in the end. Because now I know that part's completely done. And as I move on, I get to do the bird last. So pretty. Oh, every time I see this one, I just want to stop what I'm doing and start stitching it. Yeah, I hate to fold them, but kind of what you got to do. All right. Pretty bag. All righty. Moving on. This one, Honey Bear. Very cute, very old. I've seen some people stitch this before, and I fell in love with it. Actually, I thought when I found it that it was hard to find and out of print, but I, I think you can find it now. I I don't know. I Now that I'm not looking for these anymore, I don't really know what the status is of how hard they are to find. So let's see where we are on this. Hopefully I'm giving you guys enough information about this. I'm kind of in a hurry because I also want to show my finishes um, before I lose my light. 14 count beige Ada. So remember I said I hadn't seen that color before? Well, apparently I had. Because <laughs> I'm... Oh, look at how cute. <gasps> oh, I, gotta, I gotta get back and finish that bear and give him an arm. This is so cute. I think during Stitch Mania this last year I worked on this area right here. So... Just a reminder there of how it's going to look. That wagon. Oh, I just love that. I just love, as I, as I was talking earlier, I, don't, I love like lighting, especially like afternoon lighting coming in from the side. You know how the Dimensions kits can really capture that. So pretty. So looks like I have some backstitching I need to do here. Oh, no, I got his eyes backstitched. Oh, you know what, though? The, yeah, the little French knots there, the little white eyes, those are what kind of give the eyes a little bit of life, but I'm not going to do the French knots till the end. Okay, pretty. Yep, I'm probably, so I'm not even half done on that one yet. Oh, I need to get back to that. Oh, that Ada is so soft. I have a lot of dimensions kits, guys. Okay, there's this one here. This is called... What is it called? Sunlit Fox. How could I forget? Sunlit Fox. So pretty. I need to have it this way like I have all the other ones. Excuse me while I switch this around. He's in backwards. Don't look at that chart. Sorry. He was the only one going that wrong way in the bags. Okay. Sunlit Fox. Very pretty. Very cute. And let's see where I'm at with him. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> so pretty. Look at that. Yes. Very, very nice. So, oh, yeah, I'm not quite half done. So let's see here. Hold it next to it. Like I said, those of you that followed me, my daily Stitch Mania last year, if you want to see what I did on those. Um, yep. 
So, you know what? I don't know. Maybe I am more than halfway because think about it. Yeah, kind of got this cornered left to do. But it goes fast. This is all half stitches down here. So, yep. Very, very cute. Love that one. All right. Hmm. Ah, okay. I know the needle minder's in there somewhere. There it is. Okay. Hopefully you guys are doing some stitching. Because I have a feeling this is going to be a long video. Already when I looked at just the kits, it was like 40 minutes. So, yeah, it's easily going to be over an hour, I'm sure. Trying not to ramble too much. Okay, we've got this one right here, Bird Post. Love it, love it, love it. But I have it in a fox bag for some reason because I apparently didn't have a better choice. But I do probably now because I have a lot of bags I haven't used yet. Plus, I need to give away some more bags too. Oh, it's on my list of things to do. Okay, this is where I'm at on it. So cute. I think I did the butterfly when I love for Stitch Mania last year. So. Can't wait to get into the zinnia. So, very pretty. I'd say I'm maybe a little less than halfway done because that's going to be, that's all back, I mean, that's all half stitches there, so it should go pretty quick, but very pretty. To make sure I'm still recording, okay. Really need to cut the tape off of these older kits. Next time I pull them out, I think I will surge the edges. And... and here's one that I just recently bought. Recent, recently purchased this one. I think I found it on Mercari, the site I was telling you about earlier. This is an old one. I don't know what it was about it. It just called to me. I just saw it, and I'm like, you know what? I need to have that in my life. And then when it showed up, I started it that day. Quite sure what it was that called to me about it, but something did. I got all kinds of strings hanging from here. Sometimes I put my extra threads that I'm using. So, all right, so there we go. Got the mama bear, mama polar bear stitched and yeah. It was one of those that didn't look like it was going to be that hard, but if you look, this is all, these are all half stitches back here, all these, this blue, so, you know, it's, it's kind of a little bit more tedious than I think I thought it was going to be, but still very pretty. And what did I say that was called? Just in case you're looking for it, it is called Polar Bear and Cubs. Yes. All right. What? I should put bird post in this one, huh? This bag would match that one a little bit better. All right. We're getting down to the last two. Guys, this is my oldest Dimensions kit. Dimensions Gold Collection. It's called Eagle's Majesty. I started this in 2011. So I have been working on this a long time. And every time I pull it out, I just... So this is a spoiler because I actually... I don't think you're going to see my latest floss tube video before you see this one. And I was going to show you. I actually stitched on this pretty much almost, almost exclusively in February. So, um, because I was, I'll show you the other one that I, the balloon glow is the next one I'm going to show, but that one I stitched pretty much, um, completely, uh, dedicated my stitching time in January to balloon glow. And then in February, and I got so much done, I thought, you know what, what if I just find one of my old kits and just 
spend a month monogamously stitching on that one project. So I did that with this one also. And it is amazing how much progress you can get done when you only stitch one project. And I was going to do, in March, I was going to pick another one, but I didn't. In March, I just decided to do a bunch of little kind of odds and ends and different, uh, um, just different projects that are smaller. So, um, so I don't have a, is this all going to be in there? I don't have a before picture of how it looked, but I can tell you that before, actually, no, I think I do have a before picture. I can tell you that before February of this year, I had none of this stitched and pretty much none of that. So if you can think about it, I had this plus big, big, big thing is that I had stitched the eagle. Ooh, I better tap down some of those. I had stitched the eagle years ago, back in 2011, and I hadn't backstitched it yet. So I forced myself this past February to backstitch the eagle. And so I am really happy with my progress on this one and what I did because I really made a lot of progress on it. But this thing is so old, I had to actually sew this extra fabric on it because I couldn't put it in this Q-snap. But you can see it's kind of, it needs to be washed. I mean, I've just held this so many times and it's also kind of wonky. I think that my tension isn't that, that great on it. So I'm probably going to finish this one as a as a pillow because I think it's really not never going to lay flat enough to really make a good, be a good candidate for framing. But I think that it will make it a very nice pillow. I'm going to finish it off and who knows, maybe I'll even, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I was going to continue working on this in March and just finish it because the bottom, all that's left now is... Well, okay, there's still quite a bit left, I guess. This is all just lots of half stitching down here. I think some of the white is, is you know, regular full stitches and then the rest of the rock. But this rock went really quickly. I mean, I did if I did all this in February that I got done, I could easily in March could have gotten the rest of this done. So, yeah, this one, it just goes on and on and on forever. I'll be working on it. I would really love to get this done this year, but I just don't think I will because I have so many things I want to stitch this year. But I'm very happy that I made good headway on this one. So, all right. Um, one more to show. And you already know which one it is because I told you. My newest. I'll put this one away here afterwards because it needs to be folded up a little better. All right. We have got... Balloon Glow, which is also in wrong. So let me take a minute and flip that around. Balloon Glow, you've seen this one. It's been around for ages. Lots of people have stitched it. This is one of those that I just saw forever and ever, and I never really had a desire to stitch it. And then I saw Luda stitch it, and I had to have it. I just knew I had to stitch it. So I am doing a stitch along with my friend Kim and over on Instagram. Hi, Kim. And we are keeping each other motivated on this one. We both worked on it. Uh, this was my soul thing that I worked on so my sole project in January and if you follow my channel you will see I show you how I, I did a little video of me back stitching and stuff so that's not going to be I mean you've just recently seen me do this but then I'm I headed over into this green area over here and I kind of was starting to fizzle out and Kim had the idea she's like you know why don't we just do you know uh, just one length of thread a day just a string a day she said she had seen some other floss tubers doing that and I thought that's great because that way I won't really have to ever put this one completely on the back burner I'll kind of keep it in the foreground because it's big it's going to take me a long time and I thought you know I just work on it just a little each day and that has really helped get through this green because I just do a couple, you know, like a length of thread of this green a day and then work on something else. And so it's really worked out well that way to get through some of that green. So this is where I'm at with it. Right here. And so, yeah, I think in January I had gotten... Are you in frame here? I'd gotten all this done in January and then in, or I'm sorry, yeah, in January. And then I think through February 
and March, I've just worked over into this green area over here. So that's basically, if we slide this down, here, let me try to fit it in frame again. So yes, so it's this area right here that I'm working on and I'm going to drop down now and start working on the bridge because now it's, it's interesting. Kim and I both started in the middle and I headed that direction and she headed that direction. So she's now working on the house over here and I am working on obviously this right here. And then I watched Aeronauts on Netflix the other night and which is a great movie by the way if you haven't seen it and it was all about um the hot air balloon the the uh well you, what's the story the um like very first meteorologist basically that went up in a balloon and uh it was loosely based on historical um facts i think they kind of in, embellished it a bit but anyway it's a great it's a great movie and i just felt like stitching my balloon project after that as a matter of fact i wanted to go up and stitch one of these balloons really bad after that because i'm so tired of this green and then kim said she wants to work on a balloon too and so we kind of told each other hey you work on the house i'll work on the bridge and kind of head down here and then when we both kind of finish up one of these milestones then she's going to head up to a balloon and i'm going to head up to a balloon so yeah you'll be seeing this one throughout the year on my on my updates because i'm not going to really put it away so and why i have it in a cactus bag i don't know probably because i have like three cactus bags that i made but anyway that is it. That is it for my works in progress. And if you're if you're still with me, thank you. If you want to stick around and see my dimensions finishes, uh, I think I do have a little bit of light left, so we can do that. So let me clean up my mess, and then I will be back shortly to show you that. Okay, uh, we are back again, and I am still hoping I have enough light. So. The only one I'm not going to be able to show you is, remember I was telling you there was the, the or earlier on, the Debbie Mum Dimensions Kits and the Banners, the Fall. I have that one finished, but it is out in my shed with all my fall stuff. I usually don't try to put my, I don't usually put my cross-stitch stuff out there, but apparently I did. This is really cute though, and um, I can't show you it, but that is one of my finishes. Uh, this one here is one, this one was called... Um, this was a dimensions cross stitch for dummies. I don't actually have the picture. It came in a kit with a little, it was almost like a learn to, a learn to cross stitch kit. And I don't think it's available anywhere. Actually, as a matter of fact, I couldn't remember what it was called and I had a hard time even actually finding it. I had to look on my blog to see what it was. And yeah, so I think they just must have come out with it, but that, that's really cute. It's, they have one now called Hummingbird Duo, which looks almost exactly like this, except it has two hummingbirds, but this was just some limited cross stitch for dummies kit that I bought which is cute and then I finished it in this little wall hanging here so cute and then this one here is another really old one that I saw that was just so cute this thing just screams 1980s doesn't it it's called bunny and babies and I just love it it was so precious it's just kind of I don't know just has that look of the of the 80s kind of vintage that's becoming more and more vintage as as the time goes on and this is how it looks wow i don't think i even ironed it you can still see the hoop mark yep cute make sure i've got enough light here and i want to shadow it um so hopefully you could see that last one i just did anyway so that is cute once again bunnies and babies all right Next, we've got, uh, remember I told you the ornament that I had? That, make sure there's not enough, not a lot of glare on that. Um, the ornament that was Joy, I think, and this is Wish. And this is how it looks. As you can see, that thing, it's, it's really dense and thick. And it, I had to do like some couching with the words. And yeah, this was tedious. It had, it, it requires definitely was not for the faint of heart. I, I just know there was a lot of techniques in there 
with the back stitching and full coverage. And I remember it being almost just too hard to stitch on the 18 count because it was so thick. As a matter of fact, I think my backing, the back on this, yeah, it, it was like started to oh, you want loose threads there. Uh, I feel it's kind of like thick, like a rug, like a tapestry or something, but very pretty though. Yep, very pretty. All right, and next we've got this one right here. This is called Dragonfly Duo, which is so pretty. And that actually was supposed to be stitched on the Ivory Count Ada that came with it. And I ended up swapping it out for this really pretty blue fabric. Can you see that okay? Yes, I got to make sure I keep my hand out of the way because I got that side light shadow coming in. So, yeah, look at the colors on that, though. Very pretty. It's almost the same colors as in that one hummingbird, the hummingbird and orchids that I showed. Little uh, cluster of French knots right there. So very pretty. I actually made this because my mother-in-law loves dragonflies and I was going to finish this and give it to her. I still haven't done that. So Liz, if you ever watch this, just know one of these days I will give that to you. Next up, we've got Robin's Nest. This is just probably my just favorite, most favorite, most favoritest one. Well, I shouldn't say that. I really do love them all, but I love, love, love American Robins. Isn't it? And this just reminds me um, of the Robin that had a little nest in my backyard in a tree. And yes, so pretty. She lost her eggs, though, but... I stitched this in in memory. I was so sad. I was so sad that she lost her eggs. I don't know what got it. Probably the, one of the J's or something like that. But isn't that pretty? Oh, I just love this one. Anything with a robin on it. One of these days, I'm going to do... I'm just going to dedicate a month and I'm going to start all my projects that I own that have robins on them. American robins. I'm, I'm more partial to American robins. Nothing. No, I don't have any um, prejudice against European robins. But I just happen to love American robins because they're the ones that I see in my yard. So they always mean that spring is here. I just love that one. Okay. Probably better move on. This is taking a long time. Next up, we've got this one right here. It looks like I cut off the name, but I know that he's called Snowman and Friends. Probably just have it folded up in there. So, very cute. And this is how he turned out. This is always kind of nice because you can always see the picture, you know, compared to how the finished project really looks. And I don't know. My absolute most favorite part of this, and I don't want to go out of focus, but can you see those little tassels hanging from his scarf? That is the most precious thing ever. I hope I'm not going out of focus, but let's see how close I can get and not go out of focus. But just look at those little tassels hanging from his scarf. Cutest thing ever. Adorable. Okay, and then remember how I told you I had taken a stamped cross stitch? This one is called Chickadees on a Branch. There is another Chickadees one that's very similar to this one. This one's called Chickadees on a Branch, and it is a stamped cross stitch. And I tried to do the stamped cross stitch, but it was really hard to get the needle in through the fabric that came with it, and I was really frustrated with it. And I decided to just see if I could then stitch it just on even weave. And so that's what I did. Let me find it. This is how it turned out. Really pretty. So, so I did this in 2017. It looks like I did a little, did a little stitch there in the selvage. And... It was a little tricky doing the satin stitches, you know, over the, the I'm not real good at satin stitches. And so, yeah, I kind of had to fudge those a little bit. But you can see, though, it, it transferred nicely because they kind of, you know, they, they had the chart and kind of told you what colors you needed, even though you, um, you, so you didn't really need to have the fabric. So I actually think it looks much better as a non-stamped project. 
and especially because I did it on much tinier uh, count fabric too. So uh, this is probably a this is probably a twenty eight count over two. So very very pretty. Love that one. Hi guys, I'm back again, and it's now the next day because my phone ran out of battery. So. But they gave me a chance to go out into the shed because remember I was talking about this one and I said that I had it out with my fall stuff and so I went out and grabbed it. So now I can now show you what it looks like. So this was the Debbie mom and this is the little finish on the little hanger that I finished to uh, just into a little tiny miniature wall hanging. So as you can see it's very cute. Very sweet, but it's full coverage. So, you know, the whole thing. I mean, it looks like there's a lot of back stitches in the back. So, but yeah, it turned out really cute and I need to make the other ones. So I also swapped out my scissors because you can tell I've been watching a lot of Russian floss tube videos. <laughs> and I love how they always use their, their cool vintage scissors as pointers. And I don't have a whole lot of scissors. I don't, um, don't have a lot of collectible type cool vintage scissors, but I do have a few. Um, this one, I don't think this one was very expensive, but um, yes, this little rooster scissors that I think is pretty cute. I need to probably get a little more, you know, up my collection of scissors a bit because there are some pretty cute ones out there. Anyway, so got a new pointer for you to look at. So that's it. So um, mini banner fall is by Debbie Mom. Okay. Now let's move on to the rest of my finishes. Okay, next up we've got this one. Uh, this is Santa's Feathered Friend. And the before the Santa's Secret one that I showed you that I work on every Christmas, um, this was the one I worked on the Chris, um, every December before that. I think it took me maybe three years or so just working on it just mostly in December to get this one done. And... Hold on to your seats, guys. I actually fully finished this one into something that can be displayed. So I used Vana, the Twisted Stitcher. Her, um, She's got her um, amazing tutorial to show how to make these little, um, what do you call it, flat fold? And uh, so that you can just stand it up. Let me make sure I'm in the frame here. So you can just stand it up and display it like that. And it's so cute. And this bow, I uh, did not make that bow. I'm horrible at making bows, but this was actually a hair clip at uh, Walmart I found, and I just took the clip off the back and glued the bow on top of that. So that's how I make bows, because otherwise they look horrible. Um, okay, so that's it. So we've got Santa's Feather Friend, which is just one of my favorites. Okay, now there's this one, which isn't actually uh, just cross-stitch. It's actually a stamped, what do they call it? It's called Enough Coffee. It's, um, oh yeah, okay, they, they call it a stamped cross-stitch, but it also has some embroidery stitches in it too. So the fabric is printed, it has a little coffee beans printed on the back, and then you use um, some... Uh, embroidery stitches, some satin stitch, and stamped cross stitch. And this is also a fully finished one that I did. Um, just framed it without glass, so it has a little bit of a, a puff to it. You can see it's kind of got that. And then, hmm, can you see? I don't know if it's going to go out of focus, but you can see that there's satin stitches right here. And this is like um, a running stitch. And these are stem stitch and then cross stitch. So, pretty cute. I love it. All right, and next we've got Feasting Frenzy, an oldie but goodie that I've shown on my channel because um, I worked on it for a lot of years. It took me a long time to finish this one, but it was well worth it. And I shall show you that. Finish right here. Get it in frame. I don't know, is it all going to fit in there? Yes. So, so colorful. So beautiful. I loved every bit of this. This was a little tedious doing all of this little netting on here. You know, the netting on some of that, the back stitching, but for the most part, it's pretty doable. And yes, I love it. 
So colorful. Feasting Frenzy. Next up, we've got Butterfly Forest. And this was one that my husband bought for me also. And I started stitching it, and I feel like I pretty much worked on this exclusively until I got it done. And it didn't seem like it, it took very long. I don't know, looking back at it, you know, the butterflies were a bit tedious just because there's a lot of back stitching in those, but the background is all pretty much um, half cross stitches. I think the flowers, back stitching the flowers was a little bit tedious too, but nothing, nothing too horrible. And the result of that ended up being this. Now, you'll see that I've got like some, almost some thumbtack indentations here, and that's because I was trying to block this because it's very distorted. And I think that when I stitched this, it, I don't know if my tension was too tight or what I was doing, but the whole thing kind of had a kind of a wonky slant to it when it was done. And you can kind of see that it still does, even though I wet it down and tried to block it and, and kind of put it into shape. And I don't really know what caused that. I think it's the way I did my half cross stitches that did it, but I try to be real careful with that now. And I don't know if you can tell, there's like this little gold thread around the outside, ever so fine, kind of surrounds it. So that ended up just really turning out so beautiful. Yeah, a few French knots in there, but I really enjoyed working on this one. Yes, very, very pretty. So once again, Butterfly Forest, that one's called. And I feel like you can still get that one. I, I think I still see that. Same with Feasting Frenzy. Those are both still available. Um, this one I don't have a preview for because uh, I feel like maybe I gave the chart to somebody after I stitched it. Can't remember for sure if I did, but that would probably be the reason why I don't have the preview for it anymore. Um, and I think it was called Baby Blue Jays. And this was another one that I remember stitched up really quick because, you know, none of this is stitched here. So, you know, none of the background. So, but so cute. Just look at those little baby blue jays. They're so cute. Some French knots in the flowers there. And yes. Yep. Very cute. I think this was done on, it's like baby 14 count ivory Ada. And uh, another one that I um, finished after working on for quite some time. This one, Glory of Autumn. This is still available, I know. And I do remember that I swapped out the 14 count Ivory Ada on this and put the, uh, put, uh, stitched it on 18 count Ada instead. And so I did have to make adjustments whenever you go you know, down account in fabric, you know, some of the time, you know, some of the dimensions kits that call for, you know, like five or six strands, I'll usually reduce that a little bit just so it's not so bulky. So I didn't have too much trouble with that. And actually this one is also framed and finished. And I hope that the glare won't be too bad on that. Yes, looks like it doesn't have a glare. So um, yes, this was a framing job that I did. I am not an expert framer by any stretch of the imagination, but, um, I think I did like even some pinning and some lacing on this and, and, uh, this frame is slightly too small. You can tell just a little bit of it got cut off, you know, around here. So I had always intended on making this, uh, redoing this into a bigger frame, but, Every year I just pull this out and display it and it looks really nice and I just have never really taken the time to find another frame for it. So, but this one's beautiful. So yes, like I said, it's, it's a little bit smaller than it would be if you followed the, the pattern. I mean, if you use the fabric that came with the kit because that was 14 count and this is 18 count Fiddler's Ada in oatmeal is what I used on this. But love this. Very, very pretty with all those fall colors. And we are down to the last one next, guys. And I don't have a preview for this one either because it um, I did pass the chart on to somebody. And this is Winter Geese, which you just recently saw because I just recently finished it. So, um, but yes, it's called Winter Geese. And I love it. This was 
um, the, the one earlier that I showed you that the roses that I told you somebody had given to me that had already started stitching it, she, it was also the same lady that gave me this one and she had started this one also. And then I started it again on different fabric. So, um, I need to frame this. I put already some interfacing on the back of it, but one problem I'm having with that, I, I may have talked about this on my channel and I don't know if you can see it here, but you know, when I did these French knots, I sort of ran the floss from each one, you know, to do it because I don't really know how to do a, f I mean, maybe you can do a pin stitch French knot, but I was afraid that that wouldn't hold. And so I really wanted to just run the fabric, I mean, the thread to each one of these. But then when I ironed it, you can actually, it just made an indentation, you know, so you can kind of like see the lines. I mean, it's, it's depending on how it looks. I don't know. I just haven't been ready to frame this yet because also this crease in the middle, I just could not get that crease out either, no matter how many times I ironed it. So yeah, I'm just not, I'm not sure how I want to fully finish this one. So as of now, it just sits in my stash of unfinished objects, but really, really love this one though. So this is the fabric that I took out of that birdhouse one, the, that birdhouse piece that I told you I stole the fabric out of and left a note to myself. It's because I, this is the piece that I used it for. So, okay. Well, I think that is the end of it, guys. That's all of the dimensions that I have in my possession at the time. That could change, though, in a week because I'm constantly buying new cross-stitch kits and there are two unicorn charts that I'm on the lookout for that uh, will probably be the next two that I add to my stash if I happen to find them and I'll post a picture of those there just in case um, you happen to know where I can get one. I'm looking for the full kits of these not so much just a chart and I think one of them is called Mare and Foal and because I just saw Luda stitch it of course she's my biggest enabler um, and I fell in love with it which is, I think, the reason why I went and bought that other horse one. And then the other one that I've seen um, some people stitch is called Finery of Nature, which is another one that I'd like to get my hands on. And I believe that I could order those overseas, like from some Russian channels, but I'm not really sure. And, you know, it's not like I need to have those in my stash now. It's more kind of just those are the two that I am happen to, I happen to always kind of have a lookout for, just because they would be nice to have to my stash. So... All right, guys, I want to thank you all for spending a little bit of time with me and indulging me while I show all of my dimensions obsession. And um, yeah, I'll be coming up with a floss tube update here pretty soon. That might happen sooner rather than later because I do have a few new things to show. But anyway, I'd love to know if you do like dimensions kits or have some in your stash love to hear about which ones are your favorite, which ones you've stitched, which ones you're looking for. And yeah, or you can even tell me which one of the ones I have that you, that is your favorite and that you maybe like to see me stitch. Maybe one of the whips that I have that you're looking forward to seeing me finish next. Okay, guys, that's it. I'm going to go get this uploaded so you can enjoy it and everybody stay healthy out there. All right. See you soon. Bye.